I get asked a lot by you guys on what device or emulator I play PGR on to achieve this level of graphics and frame rate. And their answer has always been Moomoo Player by NetEase. Mumu Player usually gives me consistently crisp graphics and uncapped 120 FPS gameplay, which I really like having when I play PGR. And it's the reason why I choose this brand over other emulators for it. Speaking of which, the guys at Netis has been kind enough to reach out to me to sponsor this video, in which I will be guiding you through setting this emulator up for running PGR like the way I do. First off, of course, is to download the client. Depending on your PC, you can choose to get the 32 or 64 bit client. A customized download link will also be provided in the description below. Once you've installed Moomoo Player, perform a general setup for your Google Play Store and install PGR from there. Now check if you have Virtualization Technology, or VT for short, enabled on your PC. This step is not mandatory, but it will significantly improve your emulator experience. To check for VT status, click on the Options button at the top right, mouse over to Help Center, and click on Player Information. The front page should immediately show if you have VT enabled or not. If it has a green check mark like so, then great, you have VT on. If not, and if you want to enable it, Mumu has a guide on their FAQ page on how to, or simply Google the steps. Now let's take a look at the interface settings. This is by far the most important step if you want to make the game to look gorgeous. Mumu sets the resolution of the emulator to one of the presets by default. What I usually do is set it to my monitor's native resolution, which is a Quad HD, so I'll be using 2560 x 1440. So if your display is Full HD, you will be going 1080p instead, so that would be 1920 x 1080. If you're running 4K, then set it to 4K if your PC is able to support the stream. You can also display the FPS counter by checking the Show FPS button, and it'll be shown in the top left corner. Now let's move on to the Advanced tab. The emulator has DirectX by default and you only want to change it to OpenGL if you're experiencing issues. For the performance, I recommend 4 cores for the CPU and 4 gigs for the RAM. If you have hardware constraints, you can also set it to 2 cores and 2 gigs of RAM. Next, we'll enable both acceleration and graphics card settings first and only turn them off if you're experiencing issues during gameplay. Finally, under the Game Settings tab, enable Extra High FPS mode if you want PGR to run up to 120 frames. Once you're done, hit save and close and the emulator will prompt for a restart for the changes to take effect, so do just that. Now that we have the settings that we want, let's start PGR. Within PGR's graphic settings, feel free to toggle all of them to maximum, VFX, Bloom, and HDR optional. If you just enjoy all effects showing on a screen like me, then turn all of them to max. Once done, hit save and we'll apply the finishing touches. Now click on Moomoo settings again on the top right and go to the Interface tab. You'll notice an option called Screen Style on the right. This will apply a filter onto your game so experiment around and see which suits you the best. I personally use Sharp because it really brings out the character models in PGR and makes the game prettier. Once you're satisfied, hit Save and Close and that concludes the graphic and appearance guide. Next up, we'll talk about control bindings for keyboard plus mouse and gamepad, starting with the former. I'll be teaching you on how to create a new keybind profile from scratch. First of all, click on the keyboard icon on the bottom toolbar to bring up the binding menu for keyboard and mouse. Click on New Plan at the top right and we'll be working with that. And now let's click on all the buttons in the game to place a custom button on top of them except for Basic Attack, which will get a special button instead. Once you're finished, drag the Direction button from the top menu and place it on the virtual stick. The character movement controls is WASD by default. And now drag the Aim button to the center of the screen. More on that later. Next, drag the Fire button onto the Basic Attack button. Now you'll have to bind a key to the Aim Toggle button. By default, the keybind is set to back quote, so feel free to change it to something you're comfortable with. In my example, I have set it to the tab key. Now let's start placing our keybinds to all the other buttons. What's shown here is just an example, so do it your way as long as you're comfortable with it. In this example, I have left click for basic attack and right click for dodge. Once you're satisfied, hit save to keep the preset and exit the editor. Remember that I have set my aim mode to the tab key, so now we'll press it and you will see that the mouse cursor disappears and instead I have full control of the camera now just by moving my mouse and my left click is my basic attack button. You can also press F12 for the keybinds to show if you're not used to it yet. 
And that concludes the tutorial for binding keys for your mouse and keyboard. Feel free to experiment around until you're comfortable with a setup and you'll get used to them in no time. Moving on to the gamepad setup, if you're primarily a gamepad player like me who uses an Xbox controller, then Mumu should automatically detect it. Otherwise, if you're using a PlayStation DualShock controller and are encountering issues with getting it to be recognized, you may require a third-party tool such as DS4 Windows to force the controller to emulate for you. Assuming that's all already done, let's move on to the key binds. This time, it's a lot simpler and you can begin by clicking on the gamepad icon at the bottom toolbar. As usual, click on new plan so we can create our own preset. And again, simply click on each button to place a custom button over it. Once you're done, drag the direction button over the virtual joystick and the camera button to the screen. Now you can start placing your keybinds on the custom buttons. Many people have asked how I play PGR on GamePad and this is the setup I use. Once you're finished, click on save and exit the editor. And that's it, pretty easy to set up. You can also press the F11 key while you're playing to go into full screen mode for maximum immersion. And we've come to the end of the video. Once again, this video is made possible by Mumu Player from NetEase. Download links will be included in the description and comment below, so be sure to use them if you want to support the channel. I hope that this guide has been helpful to you, and I'll see you in the next video.